Uh, 2,500 may have been a little bit too much to expect, but I, I can almost guarantee you we're gonna get to about 2,000 because of how much stuff we still have left. <music> Everybody, we just wanted to get the homeschool hustlers on here because they had something to say. Y'all want to say it? Thank you, Queen City Thrifters. All right. Well, thank you to the Queen City Thrifters. We got up to ten positive feedback now on our homeschool hustler store, and show them what show them what they bought. Um, they bought. That's Hermie from Rudolph. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Hermie. Yeah. And, then... and that is a little. What are those things called? It says a pack mate. And it's uh, new with tags, and it's real soft. And hopefully you have somebody nice to give it to, Queen City Thrifters. So thanks so much for making that purchase. And we're going to send it right off to you. What are you all going to do with the money you made? We're going to save some for ourselves. We're going to put some in the bank, and then we're going to... Um... You're going to reinvest it? Yeah, reinvest yeah. it. Yeah, you're going to buy something else with it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell them thanks again. Thanks again. All right. Bye. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We're back in the eBay cave and this is Kevin and that is Sophie. Hey Sophie, can you say hi? Can you say hi? Eh, maybe not. Alright, hey, before I get started, I wanted to just thank somebody for sending me something that, um, if you can believe it, Eric, I just got this today. So you sent this thing like three weeks ago to my P.O. box and... For whatever reason, I knew it was coming, and I and I checked with them. I'm like, you sure it's not there? And they kept telling me no, 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 no. And then today when I went into the post office, the lady at the, the counter, really nice lady, she said, hey, were you still looking for a package? You said it was long and flat. We found it because um, it was time to send it back. We found it on the shelf, and it had the wrong P.O. box. It, it wasn't your fault. They put it under the wrong filing thing because this thing didn't fit in the P.O. box. But it's a brand new P.O. box, so I can understand making some mistakes. So at any rate, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It's going to go somewhere here in the eBay cave. So Eric, uh, Dominic out there, appreciate it so much. And we're thinking about you and your, uh, and your family every day. So appreciate it. We had a pretty big day of sales. We have $421.61 going out, I think. Um, and then one sale from the, I think maybe I've totaled that up. That includes one sale from the uh, Homeschool Hustler store. So pretty good day for us. So let's take a look at some of the items. First item up on the list. Let's go from top to bottom. And this one just sold. We do, girl. Well, you want a treat. All right, I'll give you a treat. I'll give you a treat. But you got to stay over here on your perch. You got to stay right there. All right first item and this is getting down to the nitty-gritty on these it's a 7.99 bag i bought a whole ton of these for five bucks i'm probably into this for maybe a dime uh it's about a 3.90 almost a four dollar profit and i think we have two left we've sold just dozens and dozens and dozens easy one lister easy shipper next one up is a mary Kay item and this one is a mary Kay concealer bronze two and it's discontinued and it sold, believe it or not, this little guy sold for $29.95 free shipping. If you remember, we bought a box full of this stuff for $15. Bucks. So this is pure profit. We've only sold one before this, uh, and this is pure profit. So if you remember me saying we're going to make over $200 on that box, easily we're going to make over $200. Bucks. Looks like Sophie wants down back there, don't you, girl? You want to go upstairs and see the homeschool hustlers? I'll give you one more treat and I'll let you go. Next item, just selling off a lot, and I made a ton of money on head covers, and this is the the worst of the worst. Um, it's it's in great shape, but it's just not a good brand. Top Flight 3 Wood Cover, sold for $7. It's about a, almost $4 profit, not quite, about $3.50, because I've paid nothing for it. This is a Harley 1993 owner's manual, and we got this basically as a throw-in. Um, at a Friday yard sale, we have this on video. I think it's the one with the hats. Um, or the second one with the hats that me and Reagan just kind of came across a yard sale. And this one um, sold for $9.95 plus shipping. It's basically pure profit. 
All right, so this is a good one. So you definitely, if you're not ready for Q4 yet, you need to get ready ASAP. So when the Halloween stuff starts going, um, then uh, Q4 is upon us. So, and I, to be honest with you, I'm not quite ready. I have ton of inventory that's not listed and I need to get on the ball. So this guy sold for $120. It was $120 or best offer and I got I got $120 for it. So for $120 plus shipping, I'm into it for about nine bucks, so it's a really nice sale. So Joyous Junk, um, $11.21 in shipping. It is uh, not much money, but we're only in it for about a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty. It depends on uh, some I bought for two, some I bought for one, and I can't really remember. So in the spreadsheet, I put down a buck fifty. It is a uh, um, Golden Ice Pure Kenmore Maytag replacement filter. Uh, Hajoka, and this is pipe and valve fitting um, company. I don't know if they have it around where you're at, but they have it around Central Virginia. And this guy sold, believe it or not, sold for $15.41. And it was part of that big giant hat lot. So we're well into the profit already. So it's just an extra seven, eight bucks on top of that. I was trying to remember where I got this one. Um, and I don't really remember, to be honest with you. I think I got it at Daniel's Big Adventure Yard Sale, but I'm not positive. And if I did that, I got I paid a buck for it, and it sold for fifteen forty one. Um, and you know, with media mail shipping on that, we're still going to make a nice little eight to nine dollar, maybe ten dollar profit on it. Probably not ten, probably nine, because that's a pretty heavy book. So even media mail, it's going to cost a little bit of money. This hat was also from that same hat lot, so it's going to be pure profit. It sold for $19.95, free shipping, which is going to translate to about uh, a $14 profit. It's corduroy. It's kind of neat. Made in the USA. This guy's been, this guy's been hanging around for a while. Um, had it for quite a while. It's a Nike. It's a goalie shirt for soccer. Had it since early spring last year. So probably eight months we've had this shirt. And it sold for $22 free shipping. Um, this one I got at a yard sale and I paid a dollar, maybe two. I can't quite remember. So this is a really nice little $14 profit. Now we've talked about these before. Um, this is one I did piece out. I've sold some complete. This is one I pieced out. And this is a model number N109D. And you see it's, it, it you know, I cleaned it, but you, the markings are still on there, but I got everything out of it. I've probably put 30 minutes into this item, you know, piecing it apart and taking pictures and doing a little cleaning and testing and all that. So this is um, a nice sale. And it's just part of the thing. I sold the hose off already. And uh, this was a $5 purchase for the whole machine. And we're well into the profit. And we've sold about half the parts. This sold for $79.95 plus shipping. So at this point, it's all profit um, other than fees and shipping. So really nice. This item sold out of the Homeschool Hustler store. And it is... Oh Holy Night, and uh, obviously it's got the uh, nativity scene there, and it sold for $25 plus, actually $26, I think, $25.95 plus free shipping, and it sold out of the Homeschool Hustler store, and this guy is going to be added on to our Happy Little Accident sale, and that is going to bring our total so far, still a long way off from the $2,500 I uh uh, I was predicting, but we are slowly but surely getting there and have a ton of stuff left to sell. So we're up to $690 on that $200 buy. And we are definitely going to get close to 2000 at least, I think, at this point. Just processing stuff in my mind. Uh, 2500 may have been a little bit too much to expect, but I, I can almost guarantee you we're going to get to about 2000 because of how much stuff we still have left and we haven't even taken a lot of the vintage Christmas items and put it into the booths yet so um, those will I, I would think those vintage Christmas Christmas items in the booths are gonna at least bring four to five hundred dollars 
if they all sell, and they might not all sell this season, but I think some of them will sell. Um, so maybe at least a couple hundred there. So it may be next year. We may be still talking about that list next year um, and seeing if we ever do get to 2,500. I know I'm not going to forget about it because if we don't get there, then, then Blue Ridge Mama is going to never let me hear the end of it. So at any rate, thank you all so much for joining us. As always, we appreciate all your comments, all your likes, your subscriptions. Um, and coming back time and time again and all the kind words, we really appreciate it. And thank you to Eric for sending that to me. Really appreciate that too. See you next time. Mm -hmm.